So I just went to GameStop and I picked up a Pikachu and Zekrom League Battle deck. And in today's video, I'll be opening it so then you can decide if you would like to purchase one yourself. So let's get to opening this new battle deck. Got Pikachu and Zekrom on it. All right, let's look at what we've got here. Looks like this is League of Battle deck. Oh, it's just explaining, explaining the cards that can be in this. The, oh, this is the other one, the Reshram and Charizard one. So there are two different League Battle decks that you could purchase, but today I'm going to be opening Pikachu and Zekrom. Right, here's a rule book in case you need a refresher. All right, and here is the packaging. Here are the dice that come with it, the deck box, and the deck itself. <clears throat> the GX tag team, and then of course the Pokemon cards at the top. As you can see, the specialty cards. So, let's just start opening it. Here we have the Raichu, an Alolan Raichu. And then we get two Pikachu and Zekrom cards. Pretty neat. Promo cards, right? All right. GX tag team marker, as well as a marker for poison and burn. And then these dice. All right. A code card. And the deck itself. So let's open it up and see what is in this League Battle deck that we're going to be use it. So on the top we have Tapu Coco, a Mallow and Lana card, two Mallow and Lana cards, a Poke Gear 3.0, Professor's Research, Ordinary Rod, Quick Ball, Switch, Vitality Band, Professor's Research, Energy Switch, Barney, Poke Gear, Another switch, ordinary rod. So it seems as though all these cards that we're going to be using in this deck are sort of mixed around a little bit, but they're going to be really helpful for building a deck. Energy card, electromagnetic radar, Pokemon communication. We have a Jirachi card. I know this card is very popular. Tag switch, another energy. Right, so it looks like it's pretty much mixed around. Erica's Hospitality, Reset Stamp, Energy, Hoopa, Jirachi, Apom, Electros, more Energy, Pokemon communicator, Communication, excuse me, Jirachi again, Energy, Erica's Hospitality, Electromagnetic Radar, Tag Switch, Energy, Zapdos, and then finally, a Jirachi. All right, so now that I have everything opened up, I might as well read over how this deck works, okay? So I have this, the cheat sheet at the beginning that I opened up, and I'll read through it what it says. Welcome to the League Battle decks. These decks feature great combos and strategic options, giving you important choices in every game that can turn the match one way or another. Pikachu and Zekrom GX has made its mark on tournament play ever since it was released, and this deck allows you to take advantage of powerful attacks and synergistic abilities to shock and awe your opponent. Pikachu and Zekrom GX is the star of the show and your strongest attacker, so this deck features multiple ways of searching for this powerful tag team. On your early turns, make sure you use Quick Ball, Electromagnetic Radar, and Pokemon communication to get your team set up and ready to go. On to the second card that this deck features. Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX can be powerful and powered up 
by a single full blitz attack from Pikachu and Zekrom GX. And you have multiple ways of switching it in from the bench to get extra effect from Tandem Shock. Paralyzed is a powerful special condition, so make use of it. On to the third card. You can use Jirachi's Stellar Wish ability to dig for the trainer cards you need. And then play Switch to bring in a powerful attacker after Jirachi falls asleep. On to the fourth important card that this deck features is Tapu Koko. He has a strong attack, but its real power comes from its ability, Dance of the Ancients. If you can discard energy cards with Quick Ball, then use Dance of the Ancients, you can get your Pikachu and Zekrom GX using Full Blitz sooner, which will power up your whole team faster as well. Now for the final tip that this deck provides. So, this deck features a lot of ways to move energy around, letting you retreat your damaged Pokemon to deny knockouts to your opponent, and then getting your new attacker up to speed without missing a beat. You can also play Electros directly from your hand to your bench with its Electric Swamp ability. It's the only way to get this Stage 2 Pokemon into play, and it's certain to surprise your opponent. This deck can get you off to a lightning fast start, and if you can use full blitz even once, you'll have a major energy acceleration advantage. This deck will try to keep your opponent off balance and then aim to finish them off with a double knockout using Tag Bolt GX. Sometimes lightning does strike twice. All right, so do I recommend getting this deck? I certainly do, because you're getting a really strong deck that's stronger than most of what you would go out and purchase. It, this League Battle deck is about $25, so you're getting a really strong deck that you could legitimately battle anyone with. And if you really wanted, maybe you and a friend, maybe your friend wants to get the Rush Ram and Charizard one, which they certainly could, and you could battle each other, it would make for certainly a great game. And with the Pikachu and Zekrom card, I mean, it's, it's fun to play. You can knock out two Pokemon at once with one attack. So it really makes for fun gameplay. And I would suggest it. Thank you. That's all I have for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.